Hello guys and a welcome to another Mad Chili video. This is technically the first video uh, on this brand new season build. Yesterday on the 9th of December, the uh, the 2021 season 1 build became live. Temperature's increasing. It's now 40 and degrees Celsius. After it finished, I decided to uh, go go shopping and got we got ourselves a bit of new content. So I now have the Audi TCR car, the Ferrari 488 GT3, Suzuka Homestead, Long Beach, Daytona, and Legacy Texas. So a good bit of new content. Um, pretty decent. I combined it with obviously the six, the fifteen percent off for getting six things that aren't legacy content, and I had four dollars from last season as well. So it came in all to about eighty three dollars or something, uh, maybe eighty six dollars. So not bad. I think it was eighty six. Uh, so we're here to drive the Ferrari four eight eight GE three in the tin top tussle. A uh, it's one of the crazy thirteenth week series that I racing run. Um, it is unofficial, so safety rating and I rating do not count. The speed limit is 64 kilometers per hour. So I thought it would be a pretty awesome time to check out, um, I thought it would be a pretty awesome time to check out, uh, this new circuit and learn this new circuit of Long Beach, you know? So, without further ado, let's get ourselves on our qualifying lap. It's a wonderful circuit, this Long Beach. I've, I haven't really set a competitive lap because now. Okay. Um, I'm still getting to grips with the circuit until my laps are invalidated. Now, one really tricky thing, you've got to basically stay, um, don't come out of the pit lane, oh rip, I just tagged the wall, don't come out of the pit lane until that red line on the left ends, it's really, it's quite a long pit lane um, exit, and then the same when you're coming down the straight, if you pass over the red line, you will get a slowdown, so you have to stay slightly to the left, obviously I'm using the driving line which kind of helps with that, but if you didn't know, clear. that's what that does. Um, obviously, I'm using the driving line, uh, which in the GT cars actually feels okay. Um, it seems quite accurate, from what I can tell. It's a very nice car, this. It's capable of a lot. Um, I was going to get the uh, USF 2000, and then I was uh, doing a little bit of test driving in this before the new build came out on maintenance. And I thought, well, hang on a minute. This thing's amazing. Let's get this. Uh, and obviously it can be used in the VRS GT Sprint Series and it can be used in its own Ferrari GT3 Challenge Sprint Series. So, you know, there's quite a bit of content that this thing can be used with. And the VRS GT Sprint Series being uh, Class D, it did all, does also mean that I can... Uh, you can see there, look, I gave tons of time on my exit, look, because... It's the first time I've ever done a competitive exit out of there. I've struggled on that corner with uh, running over the curb slightly too much and it upsets the car. And you have to like back off a lot, full spin. And then this is probably the most tight corner in all of sim racing, all of racing. Honestly, that's mad that corner. Uh, so you can see already there I'm three and a half seconds up almost on my best ever lap because I have not set a competitive lap yet. So we'll see what this is like. As I said, it's totally unofficial, this race. So no safety rating or I rating anyway. It's why I'm doing it. I could have done an official race in the Ferrari G3 Challenge. Uh, that would have been at Lime Rock, actually, this week. Uh, not, uh, they're not not this week, today. It's, it's daily on, a, on the 13th week of I racing. Every series changes its car daily, changes its track daily. Um, some of them do go, to, do go to Long Beach quite a lot. They are really taking advantage of Long Beach. I mean, I, I can kind of understand that. It is new content, so I can kind of see what I've been. I absolutely love this Ferrari GT3. It's better than the GT4s. I thought GT3 might be a bit more difficult than GT4. Maybe a bit less manageable, but honestly, this car, it's actually easy to drive. Um, and quite quickly as well. It's, obviously it's got ABS, it's got traction control, um, which does help, but it's it also just feels fast, but it also, like, you know where it's going to go, you know the capabilities of the car. It's actually capable of more than I think as well. It's actually capable of quite a bit if you do it properly. Oi! Okay, we've still got a good exit out of there. I could have improved that exit, but in the end, it is good. 3.4 seconds better than what I was set in practice. I don't know how good it's going to be compared to everybody else. 
Um, we've gone P40. Lap time was so we've jumped up a little bit. We'll see. Now I'm going to start extending the uh, the, the driving line because I can definitely go quicker than the driving line thinks. I know that for certain. Obviously, this is literally my first lap. So probably, I only did about maybe five minutes practice. And obviously, Long Beach is a new circuit. I can have driven it on Project Cars 2. However, that game does not have the best of physics in the world. Um, it also had. It was also in a, it was in a Cayman GT4 when I did that. And I said, actually, as well, not only the first time. You know, it's the first time I've actually driven this car as well. So. Oh, stay out the wall there, I hate that. It's so difficult to just stay out the wall on that corner with... This lap has not been as good as the other one. Again, I mean, I'm sure my pace is quite bad. Although I'm saying that, I'm number 12 in this field, so there's going to be some high I-rating people in here. Because uh, the standard I-rating thing, but obviously this being an unranked series, you can pick custom numbers. So anyone who picks a custom number, that skips them in the naming. So say someone's number one, but they have a custom number, the person who's number two then gets given number one. So it's a little bit misleading. Um, we are not last, so I'll take that. Um, we're not last. Now, when I looked at the car list for this series, I'm positive that there was... It is also open setup, so I'm not using a setup. I'm positive. So to be fair, we're only three seconds off, which with no setup and no practice, I'll take. Um, it wasn't qualifying fuel, though. Should be about two laps of fuel left. Two point one liters per lap. All right, two. Let's say two. Let's say two liters a lap, roughly. It's fifteen minutes. It's going to be about twelve laps. So we're probably going to need a good. Let's let's take fifty liters in. That's probably far too much. Um, the setup's definitely wrong. I've just gone with the high downforce setup. But yeah, I'm positive this was multi-class this series. I'll check the schedule now. But I, I honestly thought it was. Um, multi-class for some reason but there's no um, multi-class numbers next to people i'll check now it's uh it's an unofficial series so i'll have to there it is 13th week tin tin top tussle oh no it is all gt3 okay and they go to long beach today uh they go back to long beach in another two in uh two days as well Don't know why Steam is randomly opening there. Anyway, yeah, so by the looks of it, it is not multi-class. So it's, it's all, again, some people might be, a lot of people are going to be using the Lamborghini as well. Because that's the brand new content, the Lamborghini GT3 Evo, which I think sounds absolutely amazing. Although I've heard from some people that apparently, I, I wouldn't know because I haven't driven it or experienced it. But apparently the Audi, uh, it sounds very similar to the Audi. <laughs> Just slightly. I mean, it's, 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 it's technically the same V10. I think it used the V10 anyway. Um, so you can see here, look. So there's 20-something people in this lobby, but only 16 of them have a number. So my number 12 might actually be number 20, you know? So I'm quite happy with where I've, with where I've placed there, given the eye rating of people in this field. I mean, I don't know, look. Guys like number 80 and number 94, I don't know what their, you know, roughly how good their eye rating is. Um, like, in terms of people who actually have a number based on that I rating, I'm one of the worst. Although, what's quite good, I've managed to escape. A lot of people have clearly been hitting walls that's the end and of getting the session. Uh, two, two incident points. I haven't done that, so that's quite good, obviously. Not just getting a lap in. I mean, to be fair, it's quite a slow lap, but again, it's still not It's still not last. Um, but, you know, for, for the amount of practice I've done, I'm happy with three seconds off the pace. Because if those guys could have 4,000, 5,000 I rating, I don't know. I'm not using a setup. I'm not used to the car. Also, as I thought, everybody's in the Lambo. So if the Lambo is slightly stronger than the Ferrari around this circuit, which without proper balance of performance, I doubt there has been proper balance of performance yet, as it's only just a brand new season, maybe the Lamborghini is a little bit quicker than the rest of the GT3 cars. Obviously, they, they might not have tested it fully yet. So it's interesting. It does appear that we are pretty much in a solely Lamborghini field here. Um, it's a 15 minute race, as I said, unranked, so if something goes totally wrong, nothing to cry over, it's alright. 
All right, guys, can this we not practice. be a bunch of hooligans? Come on. This is practice for me, this race. Just practice. <laughs> yeah. What was that? Uh, also, Last yeah. Pop, mate. I don't know what that was. Whoever crashes Luke Bergen's out, give him 10 bucks. Um, we had a fast repair, so that's cool. Crash. Mm -hmm. All right. Why are we in kilometers per hour? Oh, we'll just have to ignore that. We're in <laughs> race to start yeah, now. I put it in 18. liters to do the fuel, nah, and then I forget to change it back, so it puts kilometers down there. I prefer miles per hour. Funny looking out these dog out there. We need to follow car number 85 in the right column. Look, I'll work with you to get. Because I'm a bit old like that. I use half metric, half imperial. It's not good. I'm just it doesn't work. Um, as I thought, so we are pretty much in a field of just Lamborghinis. Um, because oh. that is obviously the new content, so that's the one that everyone's wanting to try out. I am bothered to drive by that because it doesn't have, uh, other than the VRS GT Sprint, I'm not sure if it can be used in anything else. Um, I don't think it's got, it hasn't got its own series anyway, so I didn't. Oh, it's one of those weird formation laps. Wait! It's one of those weird formation well, laps that starts right at the end of the lap. <laughs> oh my word, that's stupid. That's really bad where that starts. Okay, we'll have to watch that then when doing races here in the future. But a rolling start here is actually a bit of a joke. Um, that's not a good rolling start, I'll be honest. Keep it steady, still there. I'd but they were. Whoi! Did not expect somebody that's there. pretty bad, are you okay? Did not expect someone there. Oh, wow. Started breaking and then there was just somebody there. We'll need to pit for a Oh my word. I did not expect that. Oh great, I'm going to have to wait two minutes now. We're still going to go out because I want practice. I'm going to give it a bit more ABS as well. I'm used to having like four. Um, I love that I broke early, started breaking lighter because you were coming in too hot, and then you continued to come in too hot. Who just drove in? Seriously, somebody just drove into a wall in front of me and I was like, what? But yeah, I'm going to turn up the ABS because it does, it does freak me out. This is why I, I crash into the wall. I start pushing the brake and then I feel it... Um, locking up, so I stop. But in a GT3 car, you don't really want that because it has ABS. If you can, you know, if, so you, you want to try and find the right balance, which is it's normally goes to go up to eight in this car or twelve. Go up to twelve, so it'll be about four or five. And the traction control, the traction control only goes up to six. So we'll put in three. I didn't know that. I didn't know it only went up to six. I can't believe that's really unlucky. Hopefully other people hit issues. As I said, this was not... Apparently I break later than you, then I got murdered by Jack in addition. This was not a race that was supposed to be competitive for me. I just wanted it as practice. So, and obviously other people will crash. You people know this is... Okay, excuse that. Uh, people Jack know people. that it's a... Um, people know it's a, an official series, so they don't really try for their safety rating. Um... As I said, it doesn't matter. It's totally unofficial. I just wanted it as a practice. If anything, now because we're out of the way of everybody, um, actually we're not going to. Murray is leading the race. But because we'll be like, you know, maybe I think we'll wait after oh, our well, tow for a little bit. We'll just wait to get isolated, and then we can have a pretty nice, you know, proper practice session um, in a race. Maybe follow a couple of people and, and get used to that. Because obviously we can follow some of the really quick guys. That'll be nice. Because I, I, I mean, I didn't realise my ABS was turned down so low. So that's something to note. So now it's on four, it shouldn't lock up so easily. Because that's what spooked me out. I locked, I basically I locked up and I was like, oh, what do I do? Because I don't like it when these cars lock up because it does feel a bit weird. Right. Right, we're going to go. These guys are going to go by. Has just done a 119.29. So these guys go by. Traffic behind. Blue flag. Coming up on your left. Clear on the left. This is a stupid pit exit. There we go. That is a really dumb pit exit, to be honest. This race will not suit pit stops. Um, maybe that, one thing I didn't notice, that could be why. The VRS GE Sprint okay, series, which is one of the main series on iRacing, doesn't go here. It, it doesn't go here this season, which I found quite odd. Maybe it's because it requires a pit stop. I mean, I would not fancy that there exiting into traffic like that. That's a stupid pit exit. 
Shame really, it's a really cool circuit this Long Beach, it's just not, it's not, as a circuit it's not very good, like it's a nice circuit to drive around but the actual features that make it useful for racing, like a good pit exit, obviously the rolling starts around that final corner, they're kind of missing, I think this, this place suits standing starts and no pit stops, like sprint races, this is a sprint race, it's only 15 minutes but that's the sort of racing it suits, uh, definitely right, so we start at like P17, so if we get back there, I'll be happy, uh, we are P21 at the moment, I think we're P20, actually we passed someone in the pit, so, but obviously it might want fresh, I break, that's the thing, I break far too, the driving line gets me to break too early there, but then on the first lap I broke too late, so I don't, I'm trying to figure out a perfect balance, but as I said, I don't mind, I'm literally, I mean, I'll have a look at my best lap at the end, I look my best lap time versus everybody else, that's the bit that I'll want to compare myself on. Because this is, a, as I said earlier, for me this is a practice session. Alright Morgan, keep it nice and smooth, come on, let the race come to us. Ten minutes to go, that's ten minutes left. I want to see how this car handles, and how this, this track is. Oh no, I'm useless at this track, aren't I? I'm u it's on the brakes it is, this thing doesn't feel very strong on the brakes. Um, normally an ACC, four ABS is enough. I'll give it six ABS. It just doesn't, it just doesn't want to break, you know? I'll try and work out how much you can cut these curves as well. Luckily, I think, you know, everyone else is having these same issues, so it's not too bad. Right, we'll go 3 ABS again, because it's obviously okay if it locks up this car. Wait, that's such a dangerous pit exit, honestly. It's so dangerous. Like, if you're just coming along at the wrong time, someone could just pull out. It's like, um... It's like Langley in the ovals, where the exit is kind of on the racing line. It's like that. It's really bad. It just doesn't fit pit stops. But obviously this is iRacing, so normally in real life in a 15 minute sprint race, there probably wouldn't be many pit stops. Unless it was like maybe it started raining or something. And iRacing doesn't have rain. There probably wouldn't be any reason. We're actually catching this guy as well in P19. Uh, and the gap behind, it was about 10 seconds and it came down to about 5 when I had my little crash and now it's back up to about 7 so my pace round here is clearly okay, I wouldn't call it excellent okay I'm going to try and figure, figure out how much you can cut that kerb because the more you can get away with cutting the better there and so that corner there, I'm, it's still catching me out, it's so tight um, I think we're going to be, pe okay we're going to be up in position here maybe that's the fastest lap of the race. Oh, cool. Lap, was that 120.79? That's not the fastest lap of anyone, no. It, it, it won't be. But a 21.7, that's already better than what I did in qualified. What is that guy doing? Okay, Morgan, that's half distance. You're looking good for fuel. Oh, boy. It's already better than what I did in qualified. So we're getting there. And this is what I wanted, you know. I wanted to learn the track, learn the car. I wasn't so bothered about the lap time, no I wasn't saying bothered about where I finished, it was the lap time that I was more bothered about. And obviously not spinning as well, this thing, obviously learning to be consistent in this car and not spin will be use useful, particularly in things like the Ferrari GT Sprint Series. The Sprint Series is going to be coming here I think, so it's uh, bene beneficial that I learn this track. Although I won't be doing Ferrari GT Challenge on the first week because they go to Oran Park. Um, which, at least in the Mazda, I'm going to try it out, but at least in the Mazda, the, the VRS GT Sprint Series goes to Oran Park this season as well. And I absolutely hate it. I tried it in the Mazda, remember, and it just, to me, it felt like a go-kart track. I didn't feel like I should be racing big cars around that. I did not like it. I think we're up to P18 now, actually. Yep. P18. Wow. Ahead is now 13 so already we've gained a good couple of positions there. 
There, look, brake a little bit late, a bit smoother, and that's better, look at that. That last lap had a couple of mistakes on it, so it wouldn't have been that good. But, I mean, remember, we have damaged as well, so these laps won't be totally representative of what I can do. I don't have a lot of damage, but I have a bit. I'm just trying to find out how much I can get away with over those curves. The more, obviously, the more you can cut them without getting a penalty, the better. Because you can, you know, if you can cut them fully, then that's going to gain you some time. That's probably how some people are doing one minute 19s. Now, remember as well, I'm not using a setup. I mean, I'm just using iRacing's high downforce setup. Apparently, the setups they've made are quite competitive. Although, a setup, a preset setup is never going to be as good as one you design yourself. Um, even if it's from a race instructor or something, it's still never going to be as good as something you've set up yourself. Because what you've set up yourself is for you. I just don't know how to do that. So I do some my racings. Right, that's been pretty good. Although there's two cars in the pits, look. So plenty of people in the pits having issues. Uh, however, the cars behind us, we were P14, look, number 8 and number 7. And I'm pulling away from them. But number 8 and number 7, that's higher high rating than me. Um, and they're the guys I'm pulling away from. I'm out of damage, remember, as well. So clearly my pace is uh, probably okay. I'll, I'll compare it to the rest of my eye rating. Um, people with, that's what I like to do, compare it to people okay, with the same eye rating as me. What is that guy doing there? He's in P16, so I lost another position. AFK or something, that. But you can see I'm starting to learn the track now, starting to cut some of these things. I'm only two seconds off um, the pole time now. I'm coming up on it anyway. Um, whether I was three seconds off the pole time in qualifying, so only two seconds off the pole time. Uh, on this is on full fuel as well, remember. Uh, it does make a difference. 50 litres versus 10 litres. Yeah, that's a good 40 litres of fuel extra that I'm carrying around. So it does matter. It makes quite a big difference. You know, it can make a good couple of tenths of second over a lap, especially a circuit like this that's so corner and base. I mean, massively cut that curb, and we got nothing for it. Massively cut that curb. Oh. Okay, that's the penalty for cutting that curve then. I did not realise that. Okay, so that curve, you're allowed to cut it as much as you want. However, if you cut it a bit too much, you're round. It seems as if the person behind me did exactly the same thing. Um, yeah, so that's something to take note of. That was going to be a really good lap as well. Um, so that's important to note then at Long Beach. You can cut that corner. However, you do so at your own risk. It does appear that it's quite easy to cut, to, uh, it's quite easy to crash while doing it. Oh dear, oh dear, oh it's okay, it's okay. We didn't get too much damage and that was a zero X contact, so it wasn't too bad. What I'm pretty amazed about though is, remember, behind us was car number 7 and car number 8. And we've actually extended the gap to them, despite some of our issues. And that means that overall, my, I rate, my pace is not too bad for the I rate. What is this guy doing? Thank you for that position. I'm tough for only people I'm passing as well. It's not just me having issues, um, you know, which is good. I mean, this track was literally brand new yesterday, so everybody will be learning it, apart from those who maybe uh, use Project Cars 2 a lot. Broadcast 2 does use this track quite a bit. I know it's a different sim, but obviously any experience is probably better than none. Alright, so that was a pretty clean lap, that one. There was a little bonk on the wall, but apart from that, it was a fairly clean lap. However, we have got a bit of damage now, so... Okay, Morgan, push now. Yeah. This guy. That damage is what's affecting me now, but we're P15, look. I mean... That's two minutes I'm quite happy with that, uh, given how many people start on this race. This kind of tricks me out, honestly. I think we need to go slower than we actually do. No, I think we need to go quicker than we actually do. And then you get to it and you realise, I'm a minute, that's what, I did on my, that's what I did on the first lap, and binned it. Obviously, that's kind of the purpose of this race, though. The purpose of this race was for me to uh, kind of get to grips to this circuit. I mean, I'm pretty amazed I've been able to even set a competitive lap, I mean, in qualifying. This is top split, remember? And there's, you know, I'm only number 12 on my rating, and yet I was able to set a lap that was not too bad. I mean, it's, it's three seconds slower than the pole sitter, however, I don't know. They could have 6,000 die rating for all I know, in which case they're bound to be at least a second quicker than 
me anyway. And it's open setup, and I haven't done a setup, so that already impacts me. And on top of that, I'm brand new to this circuit and this car. So, I mean, because if, if you know the Ferrari GT3 or the Lamborghini GT3, or just any GT3 car, you know how to drive a GT3 in iRacing. Right, it's going to be a lot easier for you than if you've never driven one before. Right. That was, with damage, a 22-0. Um, my best is a 21.7. Um, so it's alright. So I can brake later than the driving line says through there and still be okay. This is my favourite corner here, this one round the roundabout. It's, oh, it's so close. It's really close to just like decking it into the get into the roundabout. I can imagine people uh, maybe trying to, trying and failing to overtake. I also, this thing gets so loose over curves. This car is so easy to drive until you hit curves. But I do love how easy this car is to drive though. I mean, I can just go full throttle on it. I'm only on traction control three out of six. So I'm not even using full traction control, I'm only using half. Um, and it's still very nice, very calm to drive. We're actually P14 now, I think. We passed someone in the pits earlier on. If I go first gear through here, we get better turning and I don't have to shift down going to this corner here. So I think we'll, we'll do that. Right, we're on to the last lap now. And you can see the, uh, I've actually been alright here. I don't think I'm quite last. Um, obviously there are leaders. And they got a 21.8 look. And given the amount of damage I have, that's pretty good. Um, if I was to go in with a fresh car, they got, I went so late on the brakes there. Oh no, it's okay. Wait, what? I got, I got a contact thing pop up. Um, it was 0x, so it's fine. But I don't know what contact there even was. I suppose it's about 1 15 minutes as well, I'll say that. But yeah, we're trying to like really extend our braking on this lap, trying to really push what this car's capable of, because this driving line is definitely, almost certainly, um, tells you to brake at the wrong time. All that corner, I think the braking line's okay, that was a bit late on the brakes, although... We got through that crashing, that's all that matters. I mean, this is why I chose to do it in an online server. Right, we're actually P13 now. So our pace and overall our consistency to not die has actually been fairly good. We cut that corner perfectly there. That's the secret of that corner there. Just cut it, but not too much. If you get greedy, it'll probably just uh, end in you getting spun. That's a pretty good lap up. That's a pretty good lap that one. And um, it is A. Oh, another 21.8. Okay, another 21.8. There we go. Oh my word, that is so fun. I have to be honest, that is fun. I mean, with a damaged car like massively damaged, we come through only one lap down out of 24 cars with 13. So if this was I rating, I would have gained I rating because we were number 12 and we finished in the middle of the pack. That's enough to roughly gain I rating um, if we needed to. And you can see there, like a 21.8, it is a little bit off um, pretty much everyone else. Everyone else was in the 20s. However, again, I mean, car number one, look at that, 7,000 I rating. 7,000. That's who we're up against. You know? So that's really, really properly high. That's getting on for pro levels of I rating. Car number two, 6,900 I rating. Car number three, 6,800 I rating. I mean, this this is a split. You know, look at that. Car number 99, 97, 40. All of them were higher than me. Um, and they weren't ranked like that. So to finish in 13th, to be fair, we were last out of people who didn't disconnect. Um, but that was really good. We need to get into those 20s. We need to get into... Let's have a look at someone. Look, there you go. Look, 2,700 I rating, 2,900 I rating. We need to be setting 1 minute 20s, really, um, to get our pace a little bit better. 
definitely. But overall, it's all right. I think every single person as well was in the uh, the brand new Hurricane. So obviously, I'll see if I can view the results in the classic website um, and see if that gives you the car type. Because I'm, I'm trying to hover over the car and it doesn't tell you anything. Yeah, here you go. It tells you it's on this website. It just doesn't tell you any other one. So you have a look here, look. Um, what was the strength of field? There you go, look. 3,700. That's quite high strength of field for me. Um, so that does kind of say something. So you've got Hurricane, Hurricane, Hurricane. Hurricane, Hurricane. Hurricane, Audi. Hurricane, 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 Hurricane. Hurricane, me in the Ferrari. Hurricane, Hurricane, Hurricane. Hurricane, 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 and Hurricane. So literally everybody, apart from me and another guy in the Audi, were all using Hurricanes. Remember, the Audi and the Hurricane, in terms of engine at least, are the same. They're using Audi V10. So, I was the only Ferrari-powered car. Um, so obviously maybe that would have impacted my, my lap time a little bit. I don't know. Uh, obviously the balance of performance might not be quite accurate yet. Um, obviously it's a brand new car. It can't be. Um, oh, the Ferrari GT3 Challenge is also at Long Beach. Yeah, I thought it was at Lime Rock. I'll check now, but I'm positive the uh, iRacing schedule said it was at Lime Rock. Unless I was reading the wrong thing. But I'm fairly certain it said it was at Lime Rock. No, it doesn't say that. Maybe it was something else that was at Lime Rock today. Doesn't matter, does it? Uh, the Skip Barber is also around Long Beach, so I might give that a go. Um, but overall, I'm very happy. Obviously, an unranked series there. Let's have a look at the Ferrari GT3 Challenge, actually, because this is fixed setup, look. And you can see there. So the average lap time is a 1.19. Uh, Want to be looking for 1.19 second laps. Obviously a 27. We need to do some more practice really. Obviously I had absolutely no practice. So it's kind of explainable. you you got to accept that with no practice at all. Um, might happen sometimes. Uh, 13th week ridiculousness. Want to try that out. Goes to every single. Uh, it's to test out the new license system. Uh, I'm definitely racing this round. Lime Rock Park Classic. Let's say that. Uh, Battle of the Little Wings, oh, they're at Oran Park, so I won't bother with them. But there's some pretty fun stuff on. Oh, the 13th week I racing Rallycross series has gone to the brand new Charlotte Rallycross. Uh, it doesn't go to the brand new Brands Hatch Rallycross, that's a little bit weird. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for this upcoming series. There's a lot of uh, new stuff. They've got the Silly Send It, which I was thinking about. I do know I own Daytona and Legacy Daytona, so I was thinking about possibly getting this this, but I, I still need to buy a uh, a NASCAR for that, a proper NASCAR. But anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed this one. I am looking forward in future to uh, next season. Next season, I, actually, I'm going to do a video now detailing what's going to go on next season and uh, when, what you guys think. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope to see you in the next one, and bye-bye! <laughs>